Okay, we're going to take a look at some demos showing FME reading metadata, metadata information. First thing, I'll open up a LiDAR data set, 3D LiDAR data set using the data inspector. And you can see that it is, in fact, 3D data. And if we zoom in here, uh, I can click on an individual point, and you can see the XY coordinates at that point. Now the trick here is if you drag a box around the, an area, then you f see the uh, statistics associated with the entire data set. So you have things like file uh, creation date, uh, generating software, and even a project ID, and uh, of course the coordinate system. So all this information uh, can be used um, in let's say if we were going to generate a me metadata record uh, for that data set. And this goes, this is the same for raster data, vector data. There's a lot of, of um, uh, background information that you might not normally see in a typical uh, viewing application. Now if we want to look at a more traditional metadata um, record here, we can open this up in a text editor and you can see, okay, here's my MD metadata. How do we bring this into FME? Well, I can just grab this tag. I don't need the namespace, just the tag itself. And then I'll right click on the metadata XML, open with FME Workbench, use the XML reader, and drop in the element to match and make sure I choose flattening. What that will do is flatten the nested tags into more of a relational uh, structure. I'll just send this over to FFS so that you can see uh, how the workspace would get set up. And you can see there's a whole slew of fields that are captured because everything below the match becomes a field. So you have MD responsibility, you have all of this identification info, etc. And if I were to run this, uh, you're going to see one big record with all of those fields in it. No geometry, of course. So I select no geometry and you can see uh, that we have all of these there's a responsible party, data quality info, identification info, etc. Now, if we want to read the read this but break it up into separate tables, we'll do the same thing. Open with Workbench, but before we do that, we can look at the text editor and see there are other tags in here we might be interested in, like contact, uh, identification info. And um, actually, we could go for this MD identification. I think there's more than one of those. And we'll try to use those to read this in. So I still right click on it, open with Workbench. And then we just have to fill out the tags we want to read. The, the tags that we identify become the ones, we actually become the feature types. And we put them in here. So here are all the tags that we're going to match on, and then again, not to forget the flattening. That will read everything in. And so now we see multiple feature types rather than just the one. And when I run this to viewer, wait for that to pop up. For every one of those tags now, we have a couple of records. And so I can look at this and go, OK, I only want to see the contact information, or all I want to see is, let's say, data quality. There you go. So that's how to view metadata, either by looking at the metadata fields in a data set or by reading the XML. Thank you.